All right, everybody, what's up? In this video, we are going to learn how to find the, in, the, the inverse of a matrix using Excel. So here we have a problem, and it says to find a inverse, and here's our matrix. We have a, a four rows, four columns. It's a four by four. So let's enter this matrix into Excel and uh, I'll show you how to find the inverse. All right, so let's pull up Excel and what you have to do is you have to you have to enter this matrix in. You have to enter in each number into its own cell. So let's do that. If you want to pause the video and write this down, you can write it down so you can see how we're typing it into Excel. All right, so we're going to type in 1, 1, 0, 2, 2, negative 1, 1, negative 1. Three, three, two, negative two. And then we've got one, two, one, zero. All right, so we've entered it in. And notice the, uh, the cells that it covers. It covers four rows and four columns. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down here and we're going to select the four rows and four columns for, for our answer. And then you want to hit this function key, and it pulls up the, the function wizard here. And yes, the, the function to find the inverse is right here, but you know it may not show that. So if you, if you look at all the functions in Excel and just click on this first one and hit the M key on your keyboard, it'll take you down to the M's. And then just scroll down, and there it is, M inverse, and hit OK. And and just to let you know, instead of using the function wizard, which you know I would recommend you do the function wizard, but if you don't want to do that, you can actually just type this in equals M inverse. All right, so. The first thing we want to do is we want to select our array. And so that's the matrix itself. Okay, so we select that. Now, what you one thing that a lot of people might do is they just come up here and hit OK. Now watch what happens when you do that. It doesn't it doesn't return the answer for you because this is an array function. And notice what the function looks like up here in the bar. You see that? And you'll notice a difference when we, uh, when we fix it. So let's delete this because that's not how you uh, have to enter it in. So let's do the same thing. And let's click the M inverse again. Now hit OK, and then let's select the array. Now you don't hit OK, you don't hit Enter. You've got to hold down Control Shift Enter. Okay, you got to hit Control Shift Enter. So Control Shift and then Enter. All right, and you hold the Control key down, mash the Shift key down, and holding those down at the same time, you hit Enter and it returns the inverse there. All right? And that and that's how you that's how you do it. And this this entry here, this right here is just entered in uh, scientific notation. This this value here. But let's go ahead and oh, another thing I want to show you. You see how the how the formula enters it puts these braces around it. You can compare it to the how it, Put it in there earlier but that's how it represents an array function and then and then i'll show you the other way 
instead of using the function wizard, you hit equals M inverse and then open parentheses, select the array, close parentheses, and then control shift enter. Whoop. I think I hit the wrong thing. Let me do that again. And control shift enter. I, th I don't think I was holding the shift key down when I hit enter the first time. So you see that does make a difference. You've got to make sure you hold control shift enter when you when you enter the formula. All right, so that's finding the inverse using Excel. I hope it helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later.